Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And folks, I am not happy. I'm not a happy camper. And so today I'm going to let you know why. There's a few people that have really started to get underneath my skin. And I'm just going to call them out on this episode of 3B TV because I have had it passed up to here. It's way up to here and I'm done with it. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. First of all, there's this guy here by the name of Clyde. Now Clyde is the guy that invented this Clyde's garden planner that I purchased last year with some of my seeds. Why am I upset with Clyde? Well, if you look right here, I've set my last frost date for the 24th of May. I think the 20th of May is actually the official last frost date. So if you look at how this works, I cannot, or I should not, plant a blessed seed until March 22nd. That's almost a month away. Now, my seed orders have started to arrive, and yet Clyde is telling me I cannot plant a blessed seed for a month. Thanks, Clyde. I'm not happy with you. Now, I'm also not happy with those of you who live in the warmer climates that have got your cute little uh, greenhouses all in order and you've got your grow light systems all set up and fired up and you're posting pictures and videos of the cute little seedlings popping up out of the soil my grow light system empty why because Clyde's telling me I cannot plant until March 22nd so would y'all knock it off you're killing me here I've had it up to here with you mocking me with your pictures and your videos of these little seedlings popping up out of the ground. Enough, enough, enough. Now, let me move on. Those of you who are getting your chick orders in, got your little pictures of your little cute little peeps and you've got your brooder set up and you've got the videos of the little cheap, 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 cheap of the little baby peeps. Stop it! You're killing me here. My chicks don't arrive for almost another month and I'm going nuts. I'm watching your videos, I'm seeing your pictures and my brooder is in the corner, still collapsed because my chicks don't arrive for another month. Could you knock it off? You're killing me here. Now, one last bone to pick. Mother Nature, would you make up your mind? It gets warm, then it gets cold, then it rains, then it snows, then we get ice. Come on, you're psychotic. You're killing me here. I want to get outside. I want to get some projects started. I want to get, you know, I've got all these plans. I've got stuff I want to build. i got things that I want to do. And I still got snow on the ground. <sighs> Man, y'all are just driving me nuts. Folks, I'm going a little stir crazy here. You know, this is my least favorite time of the year and I'm not you know folks I'm, I'm having a little fun here oh you know but you know I've done all my planning I've got I've got plans for this year things that I want to get accomplished and probably in the next video I'm going to share with you some of the things that I'm planning on doing this year on the homestead but I can't get started on anything this time of the year it's like I've got my plans done I've got my chicks ordered I've got my seeds um, either on the way or arriving and I can't do jack diddly with it not for another month driving me nuts it's like there's not a project that I can start oh, man I actually started reading the market gardener uh, yesterday and Brian my son Brian jr. he said to me he said dad I can see I can tell when you start reading those books that you're itching for spring and boy is he right I, how do you cope with it people those of you who live more up towards the north, you don't live down in the warm climates like those people that have got the seeds started and the chicks coming and blah, 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 blah. How, how do you handle it? I'm going crazy here. I'm about ready to pull my hair out. And the thing about it is I'm not one of those people. My mom and dad, I love them to death. They drive me nuts. All they do all winter long is bellyache about how cold it is. We live in New York State. Of course it's going to be cold. They bellyache all winter long about the snow. 
Mom and Dad, I love you. I know you're watching this. Shout out to you guys. But they belly ache all winter long about the snow. We live in upstate New York. We're going to get snow. And so I get out, I snowboard, you know, we, we do stuff outdoors, so it's not like I'm locked up, but man, I want to get started. I got stuff I want to do, and Mother Nature in cooperating, and then all of you all got your seed orders in, and you got your grow light system started up, and you got the little seedlings popping up out of the grounds and you got your greenhouses all set up and ready to go and you're just mocking me. You're killing me here. <sighs> so those of you in the north, how do you handle this? Are you like me, just like so frustrated for the next month, like want to get stuff underway and you can't? How are you coping? Let me know, folks, because I'm about ready to go crazy up in here. Anyhow, folks, Thanks so much for letting me vent, and until next time, we'll catch you later.